Welcome to the 32nd International Documentary Film Festival Amsterdam. My name is Dana Linsen and I'll be talking to Laura herrero Garvin about the film La Mami. Laura, welcome. You Thank take you. us all the way to Mexico, but you're from Spain, right? Yeah. So how did you end up in Mexico? I'm half Mexican. You're half Mexican. <laughs> no, I, I, am, I am from Spain, but I had been living in Mexico eight years. So I spent all my, most of my adult age in Mexico than in, in Spain, yeah. So then maybe the more important question is how did you find this special nightclub, dance club, Barba Azul and um, La Mami? Yeah, the reason was because I like to dance salsa. <laughs> so I used to go there to dance salsa and in, in a birthday party we, we end the night there. So I was dancing salsa with friends, and when I go to the woman restroom, I listen a girl saying, "La mami, eh, mami, mami." He asked me to marry with him, and la mami say, "Hey, he asked you every week to marry with him. Eh, don't don't take care about." <laughs> and I was like, "What's going on with this?" And I discovered that the mami was like an, a a mom. Uh, in this place that is like as difficult for, for this woman who has to compete in the dance floor, but later they have this space, this room of their own where they have la mami that protect, the, protect them. So it was, you know, when I saw that, I knew I had to do a movie about that. So for the people who haven't seen the film, your film is basically about a dance club, but you just mostly stay in the restroom. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, I think the ninety percent of the movie it happens in the restroom, because yeah, for me the restroom was the place of the you know the solidarity, the alliance, the place of the words, the, the dialogue, and we go to the dance floor. The, all the movie happens just in the cabaret, mm -hmm. uh, as this microcosmos that uh, built for me the patriarchal society and you know and and uh, this place has this different ambience the dance floor who is uh, in the downstairs and the in upstairs that are the restroom and this special place where they transform themselves the woman transform themselves and prepare and talk and be together to go down and work um you know I, kind of represent another character to like be, be super, you know, uh, sympathetic and, you know, uh, super attractive for men, right? Selling dreams. Yeah, <laughs> selling dreams, dance, dance and conversations. <laughs> so um, I found, found it a very interesting choice, actually, because, of course, we've known films um, about the kind of the other, the other side of nightlife. Mm -hmm. But to stay in this, in, this, in this restroom as a nice microcosm. But you do something that I found far more uh, radical. You just put your camera there. And um, then, of course, maybe that's not so radical. But you want to ask so many questions to these people, and you don't. So maybe you can talk a little bit more about this stylistic choice mm -hmm. and, 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 and yeah, what you got from it. Yeah, because I, what I really wanted is to show and be connected, that the movie connect with the importance of aliens, aliens mm -hmm. in a place like this, right? How important was this restroom? restroom? And I knew that I have to put in front of my camera this alliance and that was going to happen with the conversation between them. So it is was it it was super important to to don't have conversation with me because I am not a fichera, I am not the woman who were there. I just want to spend a lot of a lot of time. I spent three years of investigation. I, I spent three years to put a camera there. So before you put before I put there. a camera, yeah. It was super difficult. So what did you do in those three years? You were also just sitting I, there? I was just sitting there with La Mami, talking with the girls, going to their family parties and going down to have a beer and watch <laughs> them dancing. You know, I was like talking one by one about how it was important for me to do this movie and maybe 
it could be important for them also. And finally, like, la mami was so close to me since the beginning, but the girls not. No, the, the girls were very, very difficult. And right now they are super happy. <laughs> but I assume that many of them also kind of do this kind of work semi-secretly or maybe not all their families know yeah. that they're doing it. Yeah, they work actually su super stigmatized and, and it has a lot of society adjustment. Uh, but... Um, so they don't say to the f their families. So in a way, it's like some of them could be actress, some of them not. <laughs> we will not know who is actress and who is not actress. So oh, we will but not. now you have to explain. <laughs> um, no, they are not actresses. Did you work yeah. with actresses for the no, film? They no, we, we don't work with actresses. They have another names. Yeah. And I think everyone is an act actress when they work in that because they, you know, they kind of uh, uh, adopt a character. When they, they adopt a name, they don't, it is not their, their own names. And when they go down, they adopt a character. So. This is a very important moment in the film because we talked about La Mami who is sitting there and, and, and taking care of the women's bags and, and taking care that there's enough toilet paper but the other important character is of course uh, Priscilla or mm -hmm. Carmen when yeah. she when I she know. arrives um, she really goes through a whole transformation not from her everyday persona mm -hmm. in, into her dancing persona but also during the, the film I mean were you also waiting three years for a person like that to <laughs> walk in, or how did one, you find one, her? One friend said to me that because I, the, the, the three years that I was like uh, working the confidence with them, I also was waiting for cinema fans <laughs> to do the movie. And he said, your good luck, because he said that I have so, super good luck, your good luck make you wait until Priscilla came. <laughs> okay, because, he, you know, at the, at, the mo at the moment that I have everything to start to shoot, she came and I was like, this no is way. a present of life. I couldn't believe that she was like coming just in the moment that I was starting to, to shoot a movie that I was preparing three years, like, to shoot. And when I start to shoot, she came and it became the second, you know, one of the the principal character of the movies, and she became to be the dramatu, you know, the arc. Ha, is it yeah, is good? The, the arc, the yeah. dramaturgy arc of the story, yeah. But you were there for a long time, gaining these people's trust, and then she walks in, and you have to to gain someone's tr trust, not in three years, but maybe in yeah, three it is minutes. Easy. It is easier when you when you game already all the all the trash of of the all the people. So she became a, she arrived to a place where everyone trashed me, and it was better for me because everyone was trusting me in this trashing me in this trust, trust, trust yeah. trusting me in this moment, and. Um, so she became and said, oh, she's, see, I think she's good. And it happened something so strong with her because, you know, I, I was not in the moment that she came. We, it was like a, but she, she said to me at the beginning, okay, I want to be in the movie. And later she say, eh, okay, but I don't want my face to be in. So, because the, mm -hmm. I, I put the two options. You can be, all of you in the movie, or maybe you can be only the boys, or maybe you can't, you don't want to be in another, and they were choosing, I want to be whole, I don't know, and I was respecting everyone. And Priscilla TV beginning say, yes, but I don't want to be only my boys. And in a moment, she go away and come and say, you know, I want to be whole, I trust you. <laughs> and they say, it was super like, and she gave me everything, like she was open her, the story like you see in the movie. Yeah, it's, it was it's, amazing. it's remarkable because it's, it's a very vulnerable story as well um, when you go and 
work there and mm -hmm. um, maybe also because it's a little bit also sometimes about crossing the line of what exactly is the kind of work um, uh, they're doing and La Mami is also mm -hmm. talking a little bit about it but they never talk about it specifically there's a lot of suggestion in in the film that mm -hmm. I think there are suggestions in our head <laughs> also, but, but I, you know, it's like that they in this place they they say at the beginning when she's like I don't know how I wo I have to work and one girl say you have to sit and you will drink with with the customers and dance and that's what they do in the in the space. Mm -hmm. Later they maybe go out, but no, every one of them go out, and uh, but they. The, the, the work that they do in the cabaret is just that, dance and talk. And she's like discovering that it's not just and talk, dance and talk, that there is a lot of difficulties to do things and you can like feel it in the, in the Pristilla's arc in a, in, a, in a way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, you were just describing a little bit your, your procedure or your, or your method. Um, which probably means that you also shot a lot of material mm -hmm. and then uh, you were constructing or reconstructing the narrative um, in the editing. How, I mean, how many hours? We have like a, around 70 hours. And yeah, I spent a lot of time there watching, 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 and later I put the camera. So I knew so good how I have to move the camera and how I have to, you know, um, yeah, put the camera mostly, and uh, uh, and uh, the most of there are a lot of live cinema in the in the movie. Like I had been there, and there are a lot of like sequence that had been like this, and we maybe build it with looks, and mm -hmm. you know, with we had been working a lot the temporality of the sequence with a lot of like looks because in this. In this space is something so beautiful that the mirrors make that they look each other every time. So I can be like this without move my face, and I can watch what is, uh, you know, uh, behind me, what is in front of me, what is in me, and only with the mirror I can I can watch everything. And it's pretty amazing how they look every time the conversations around. Yeah. So um, La Mami, of course, is is kind of the queen of the of the dressing she room. Um, the it queen takes and the a, servant. It yeah. takes a while before she opens up, it mm -hmm. seems, and before she, we get to know a little bit more about her backstory. Um, how hard was it for you to get her to talk? It was something that I was thinking before when we were talking, and it's something amazing. When I, when I knew La Mami, La Mami started to tell and open her history to me. But I realized that she, didn't know, she do no, does not open the, her his history with another girl. And I was like worried about, I don't want to be in the movie, I don't want to interview how I will know the history of La Mami. And in a moment, my present Priscilla <laughs> came and I realized that Priscilla and La Mami start to have a close, close situations, and I start to think, La Mami is gonna open her, you know, she's gonna do it with Priscilla, and she did, and I didn't ask her to do it, and she started to tell the same things. She was talking with me, La Mami, and open histories that I didn't, I, I just know as, as uh, the the down there that uh, someone killed and yeah, stuff like this like so, something super 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 internal and she started to share it with Priscilla and that was for me the most amazing documentary experience that I have in my life like you know she came and she, and they you know all, all the movie needed so do you also feel like you give them some I don't know agency over their own appearance in the film that they were also able to to represent themselves and not like you you were stealing the images. Yeah, I think yes. We so we were talking the they are women that with a lot of agency. Like they are like super. Like they decide they don't. They are not gonna do whatever you want all time. You it is all, all time a play. So I give you, you give me, and, blah, and it's like some like dance and all time. I think that's documentary when you work with people like 
but uh, this woman must <laughs> and more and uh, so you have to like uh, they are like all time uh, yeah uh, trying me trying me or testing me testing, testing. They, are, they, they were all time testing me so they were like uh, okay I I say that I didn't ask never to say anything I always say like Hey, how is your? Maybe we can start to. I I just like say some point to start. Like, hey, how how is your your son? And they start to talk about the son, but in a moment they, there were so long conversations, maybe one hour conversations. Priscilla arrived the first girl in the bathroom, so they had like one hour conversation every day. So this conversation that they we show in the movie are from one hour, mm -hmm. hour a one hour conversation. So they decide a lot of things that are, are in the movie. It is amazing that how they were like even me. It's always good to to hear that the people who are in the movie are also maybe directing the director yeah, yeah, yeah. a little a little bit. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for being here with La Mami and yeah, good sure. luck with the film. Yeah, thank you.